More Moxon. God, we have been we've been on fire with Moxon today. Ooh, should we Tinker? Tinker's not a bad follow-up to some fast artifact mana, huh? Let's do it. I still can't believe we uh we beat that Tinker deck. Not not in that last draft, but the one previous. <laughs> that fucking, that fucking shit pile. I mean, that very good deck. All right, so Goblin Welder, Mishra's Workshop, and Coalition Relic. All playing well here. I think we take the Relic and try and wheel the shops. This is what we do. More artifact stuff. Yeah, Relic doesn't wheel that often. Workshops doesn't uh, doesn't wheel a ton either. It has been wheeling a, a solid amount this season, but it, it wheels more often in pack two and pack three. And then Goblin Welder is very likely to wheel. You have a one hour drum and bass set you want to listen to? Normally I'm fine with a long song request, Dag and Crow, but an hour of drum and bass seems like a lot of that. So I am going to no sir you. I appreciate you being up front. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this back, huh? Echo, maybe? I hate it. There's very low chance of actually playing this Echo. Mm, grab a Daze though, huh? Don't hate that. Guy's Cradle? Eh? <laughs> Let's grab the Scrounger. So we need something juicy to tinker into. And ideally waste a tutor for the tinker and make it real consistent like. That's a fucking drum solo right there. Seventh pick cradle. Well, let's go in later than that, huh? <laughs> go in eighth pick. My favorite Tinker target? Um. I guess Citadel's the most fun, huh? Sometimes, um. Your Battle Sphere can be really rewarding. If you have an academy and you just, like, want to shit pile of mana. I enjoy those games. the difference between rock music and jazz? Is it the kind of cigarettes? Have I played Echo? Yeah, of course. Oh, Eon's Torn. You're talking about Emrakul? Yeah, very much so. Blightsteel is boring. I would not mind the Blightsteel. Well, the question was, was what's the... The question wasn't what's the best Tinker target, it was what's your favorite, right? 
Hey, look at that workshop wheel. I'm into it. Yeah, the welder would play well with the Duretti and stuff, but the workshop makes the metal worker like, actually look good, so kind of a difficult thing to do, huh? Hey, rock hard, things up $4.20. Fortunately, he plays it hype. Do I like the Sundering Titan people? Yeah, this is not that consistent, right? This is the only issue with Sundering Titan. I do enjoy it. Well, we got some good cards here. We got some trash, but we got some good cards here, too. Well, speaking of Emrakul, hum. I think I'm gonna take Jace over Library. The cool thing about Jace is if we draw our Tinker target, we can get it back into the deck. Also not a bad one to power out with a fast artifact mana. No, I got you, Goody Phil. I think I'd heard it before. I can pretend like I hadn't, though. <laughs> I'm terrible at that. If someone sees, shows me like a meme that I've seen before, I like have no reaction. I always like blank stare. They're all excited to like show me this sweet meme that's like, arguably very funny. I can't do it. I can't fake a reaction. And there's no nothing shittier than being all excited to show something someone show someone something and they're just like, yeah, I've seen that. Like all fucking dead faced. But I don't I don't have it in me. I'm not um We're gonna grab Mana Crypt here. The Twister would be sweet and all, but Mana Crypt also gives us more ways of dropping the Metal Worker turn one and stuff. I mean our Drop the Tinker turn one, just make our deck, whole deck a lot more consistent, a lot more explosive. Hey, Retrofitter. I don't hate that. I think we're grabbing that over these other cards, huh? Oh, we're missing now something to tutor up with the Tinker. It's not a bad looking Trinket Mage. I'm gonna grab the Power Stone over it. Actually, I wonder about taking the Ballista and trying to wield the Trinket Mage. Then Trinket Mage would give me a, a Mana Sink too. That'd be sweet. Ballista might just be the deck anyway. Yeah, alright. Mind Twist. No black mana except for Relic. I'm gonna leave Mind Twist. I might just grab it here anyway. This is Steam Vents, but our only red card is like, the Dready. Shit. Good chance Miscalc's the pick here. I'm, I'm gonna take the Twist. Twist is fucked up. Boss fools. It's a world of Mystical Tutor for Tinker. In this world also gets Mind Twist. I came across some stone sucker. Just a little bit worried about the, the Tinker itself here. <laughs> couldn't believe in the fate, couldn't believe in the funk. Oh, one thing ain't been a There's another mana sink. That funk ain't never going out of style. We're all just skips coming to scatter back away. You're not wrong, Deemser. It's not my not my special team. I ain't concerned. Ooh, a dual land. This game's kind of an example of why I don't like super prioritize dual lands and stuff. Some people will like pack one, pick one a duel or a fetch or something and be really ecstatic about it. I like to know what colors I'm in first. And a lot of times I don't know what colors I'm in until halfway through pack two, you know? Not a crazy Bob deck here. Ooh, the Trigger Mage, right, right. Kind of a nice Trigger Mage toolbox. Now that we've got Ballista and Hanger Mac on top of all the other shit. That's true. That's a good point, Bardley Bank. Um, because when you're doing the artifact stuff, you're gonna have low mana requirements because of all the artifacts in your deck, and then you're also generally gonna have artifacts that produce mana, artifacts that fix for you, signets and the like. Yeah, so we're still lacking a good Tinker target, um, but we do have a Soul Ring now. 
so that's kind of fucked up. Beautiful looking academy deck, huh? Yeah, alright. Guess we'll recall. I am concerned. Concerned. I am concerned that we don't have anything good to tinker into. Alright, we got a song request from Rock Hard who says they hate Journey, but Lizzie Hale's voice is amazing. So I think I'm supposed to grab the portal here, huh? Come on! <laughs> Come on, you fucking bats! Give me something to tinker into! <laughs> Starting to get worried. Starting to feel the sweat a little bit. It's a good Urza saga! It's a really fucking good Urza saga! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Where's the blight steel? <laughs> Give me a sundering titan! Fucking anything! <laughs> Only trophies, mini cookies. Only trophies on the day. All with equally good decks. Come on, Tinker Target! What about the thing that attacks to make power stones? That'd be hot too. It's a good Emery deck. I think we might be cutting Tinker. We're not cutting the recall. Like we're still gonna fucking have recall for uh, mystical tutor for recall and mystical tutor for mind twist. But <laughs> it'd be nice. It's such a gorgeous Tinker mana base. the steel wind yeah right L literally anything getting a little grim folks <laughs> is, is steel seraph a tinker target God, it's even worse than worm coil worm coil is like the backup you know <laughs> I guess my bluff is being called. All right, all right. We're tinkering for Worm Coil. That's the plan. Plan A, Worm Coil beats. <laughs> yeah, back up you say. Yeah. Like the most lackluster Forge Master ever. I might be tinkering for Smokestack a solid amount of the time here. I think I'm cutting the Bullman Courier for Stowaway. Would have been actually a sweet deck for a sword. I didn't nab any of them. Interesting games? Yeah, I mean we're gonna murder some people. Not in like a like a criminal way, but like a real sexy legal way. Just the fucking tastiest murder. Oh, I didn't cut the courier. I was like, why do I Too many lands now. I didn't say I was gonna add Bitter Blossom. Yeah, it's way too many lands. 
kind of hate Bitter Blossom, but it does work with Smokestack, I guess, or like Block for Jace. Again, the Bitter Blossom would be a lot more exciting if we had a um, a sword or two in here to suit him up. But I clamp. Kind of a lot of self pain in here, huh? Between the Bitter Blossom, the Mana Crypt, and the Bob. Do you wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna play Braids? <laughs> What about Braids over Bitter Blossom? Braids over Tinker? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Maybe over Stowaway. I mean, Stowaway's good, but it's kind of a bad deck for it. There's only nine blue sources. I want one more. This deck is sick. We got a really sick deck here and a braids. Good old blue black bob shops. The Skull Clamp we passed would have ended up being cool too. Way to kill Bob. Good with a bit of Blossom. Sleep is a good band. Do one of those on vinyl. I like, uh, I think I prefer High on Fire to Sleep, but, uh, my favorite High on Fire tracks are, like, spread out, so I don't actually own any of their stuff on vinyl. this fucking discussion goodie film I like how braids can let me answer my own bitter blossom my own mana crypt or my own bob that's why braids is in here you're fine goodie film I just like cussing I was like saying the swear words. I fucking said. Okay, Caleb. They could have used Academy too, huh? Nutty fucking mana base though. Gorgeous mana base here. With the Urza Saga and the Soul Ring and the Mana Crypt and all that shit. You got a Mox in there. Ring pass. That's not true. I need to hang her back on one. Gets to have the, the fear put into them before we get a very answerable worm coil. Actually, should I just get fucking. I think Smokestack wins more. Worm Coil is bad against 
mind control effects. It gives them like a lot of turns to start playing blockers and stuff. Bounce effects, XL effects, clone effects, right? Smug stack doesn't give a shit about like any of that. And we have this Emery here, right? Feels like this Emery helps. Playing anything is a stacks lock psycho. Some people want to cut smokestack from the cube. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Very much think this card still belongs. <laughs> they don't think it's good, Maiden. They don't think it's good because they don't play it. Because it doesn't fit into every deck. Those people also probably want to cut the workshops itself. No, my Emery! It is sad, isn't it? Retrofitter is stranded. Sure. is in the sideboard, yeah. Full reset? I don't know if we're gonna do a full reset. We'll still have something at the end of it. Gold dash of in, sure. Sack Metalworker and Smokestack here. Be in a reasonable spot. It's not that mana intensive. We actually only have one card that takes double blue, and that's just the Mind Sculptor. Alright, I'll give it one more turn. Not upticking. Just go back to Metal Worker here, so I can't get a cheeky Ragaman hit in again. They do goody fill, yeah. I'm aware, huh?
Bob vs. Ragaman. Let's fucking go. They answer my Bob. I don't want there to be anything too juicy on top of my library. It is awkward to leave the three on top. But I think we're just trading here. Is there attacking Jace? <laughs> Might have let that land. It's like you bought a weekend pass to the fucked up magic magic card convention. Yeah, it is a lot like that. No academy though. We're missing academy. We're missing Urza. We're missing a Blightsteel Colossus. <laughs> as we as we saw with our turn two tinker for fucking smokestack here. I kind of want the draw seven in here. After how this game's played out, we only have eleven cards left. Can you give me my smokestack back? Real Tinker target. We've got two. Sort of. We could Tinker for Golos and uh, use that to tears Urza Saga too. So many good Tinker targets. We're probably not Tinkering for Strix. I could see doing it if they have a 2020. Tinker for Smokestack is the sweetest. Yeah, I don't think it's good in general, but turn two on the play, I think Tinker for Smokestack is totally reasonable. Especially when you have Emery in hand and you're sacking a hanger bag. Like, it just seemed fine. It seemed more winning than Warm Coil. Hey, some Niloquist. Thanks for the soft of the months there, the big 5-0. Salty timeout. That'd be kind of a weird way to play game one. Well, 
Hell yeah, Glass House Life. I'll be ready for you. They get reinstated with the unfair cards. Yeah. I mean, they could also just be answering their phone or whatever the fuck, you know? Easy 3 0 trophy deck? I don't know. The fucking infinite go <laughs> goblin bombardment ping step trophy. <laughs> I, I, I think this, there's like no way this deck can trophy now. Right? <laughs> I believe they're AFK. I believe they're just AFK here. Again, it'd be a little weird to salt out in game one, right? Right, Bidel? I had that happen to me. Um, I was playing off stream and I fucking accidentally crashed. My internet cut out in the, the, um, the middle of a. Uh, of a game three where my opponent like had lethal in play. I actually went on Twitter and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> my internet quit. And my opponent actually did follow me on Twitter and was like, oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> they were like terrified. They thought I was like in the tank for fucking <laughs> 10 minutes or something. What could Caleb have here? Amazing Kinnick Sai. Yeah, I also don't have emotes on. I hope nobody's like a fucking offended that I never emote them back or whatever, but it's just not something that I wanted to. Just always assume I click good game. I need to have that fucking. They, that, they need to have that, right? You can turn off emotes. There should be like an always GG at the end thing. I guess they don't know that the game's over. Arena. Mm, how sweet would that be, though? <clears throat> I'm gonna try Echo instead of Braids. Maybe it should be Echo over Bitter Blossom. It's kind of a bad Bitter Blossom. GG then concede button. Yeah. If the concede button just had a GG attached. <laughs> Amazing Kinnick style. Now that's some good sportsmanship right there. <laughs> It's so petty. I think it's like kind of petty to fucking track someone down on Twitter and ask them why you didn't emote them back or whatever. <laughs> I think that's the appropriate response. <laughs> you didn't emote me and I was sad. Sorry. <laughs> We can't have the smokestack in the opener, because then what are, we gonna, what are we gonna fucking tinker for, right? Soaring, no mana crypt, no mox. This is like a. This is like a hand for peasants. This is a normie hand. We're better than this. We're better than this hand. Ballista for one.
Even a mana crypt would help out, huh? Or a um, workshops. Yeah, skull it up. We were just leaving the soul ring on top of our deck so that the sculler wouldn't get it here, and that's all we were doing. Ho 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 ho. Not a portal or ballista on two. I think I'm just gonna portal. This is a little this is a little too much jazz. It's a little a little too jazzy for me. My current mood. Need to settle down a little bit. Oh no, we're losing flips. That is, uh, no bueno. An absence of buenos. Not good. I think I'm just gonna emory here. <laughs> it's the notes they're not playing. It proceeds to play every note. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Track. It's a sweet track. Apparently, we're listening to anime right now. Ooh, we're coiling the bend. And a Strix. Ooh, some memory hits, huh? Hey, congrats, B Dome. I don't think I've ever swam multiple miles. I don't know if that's a thing that I've done. Never been that strong of a swimmer. Hey, good evening, Tackler. Have I ever listened to Soil and Pimp? What? No, I don't know what that is. Have I drowned for miles? I've, uh, I've coughed up some fucking fluid. I don't think I've drowned for miles, but... Ooh. That's when I was a kid. I don't, I don't know how old I was. I think I was... Like, eight or nine or something. Um, one of my... Distant cousins thought I was like swimming up underneath them to fuck with them, and I was literally just like trying to get to the surface because I couldn't breathe because I was eight or something. And so he started kicking my head to like fucking knock me down to the bottom of the pool when all I'm trying to do is you know have air. And uh, I do remember <laughs> coming to this fucking. All the water out of my lungs. Mm. Not great. So we're not activating Saga, right? We're just playing Warm Coil. All the doing stuff. Sure. Sounds like I almost died. Yeah. There's been a few of those. When I was uh when I was born, 
it was a it was a home bird. And um there was an issue, and the midwife was like, you need to fucking push now. And uh apparently the umbilical cord had gotten like wrapped around my neck. And the midwife was good, she was like right there with the fucking snizzers, just like waiting. Stimped it off immediately. Got my throat <laughs> clear or whatever. life. That old bit. I kind of don't like the bit of loss with the mana crypt out. I might just do this. Now you all get to watch me cube, yeah. Yeah, this fucking... This stream's dedicated to the midwife that saved my life, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Dark Depths? We can beat Dark Depths. It'd, it'd be a little obnoxious, but we could beat it. Right, Cheese? Yeah. The rich certainly get richer. Oh, god damn it, they do have a Dark Depths. How are we gonna beat that? Edmund Gucci, these are the 20 months. Appreciate you. Ooh. Well, I kind of wish I'd gotten a bit of Blossom down, huh? I guess we still can here, huh? We can't exactly. Make a 3 3 ballista, it would put us dead on board. So I'm not gonna do that. Infinite pings popped off. We did the thing. Emery Free Strix doesn't really work out against their onboard scavenging use. So we're gonna do something a little different. Is their board looks a little weak to smokestack. Hopefully we can get there. You can ball so hard. Well, not if you get the third counter. I think you have to do it before it gets the third counter. So after it has the second counter, then you copy a basic or something. You keep on activating. I think once the third counter's on there, you have to sack it. Six makes the Bitter Blossom plan a lot more obnoxious, huh?
Ooh, that's a hot draw. So I'd like to get Smokestack down. Smokestack could answer my own Mana Crypt and Bitter Blossom too. I also want to play a giant ass Walking Ballista. So without the red in play, I feel a little bit more comfortable playing out the Ballista, because then they need two removal spells for the Marlage to get in. Him. Fair enough. Yeah, Coligan's could have, command could have done it, and uh, Mizium Mortars could have done it, Tom. Um, so it was a calculated risk getting the um, ooze off the battlefield. Could have made my life a lot easier, though, huh? Because we could have left up mana to make another 1 1. Just in case. Yeah, they didn't have the Kulligan's Command the turn previous either, or they would have uh, made that attack then. Mm. Good old Ripperoni. Yeah, I think no changes here. Draw the game one. That draw wasn't bad. We got Mana Crypt on a, on a nice early turn. Keep? Why? You think this is good? That's what you, that's what you actually think? Yeah, no, that's good. Ooh, pretty good. I 
almost want to turn one recall, because we find Soul Ring Karn. You can turn one Karn. That'd be so sexy. I'm gonna uh, turn one Island Box Pearl. Hell yeah, Harmon. I think Bob's good in this deck. Our curve's not that high. Our 1 6 drop is uh, Word Coil, which plays well with Bob, right? Unfortunate. God, that's such a bad shell dock. <laughs> can I invert those? I guess Emery can rebuy the portal. We do have a lot of permanence, don't we? We still got this Emery going. Naturalized Bear. It would have to be the uh, the red one, right? Because it was Rex Sage or whatever, we could just daze it. And then that would be like their whole turn, we just Emery. Sigh of relief. Yeah, right. Two minutes soul ring. Hardly worth it. Actually, super head on clock, too. Could I? Could I have bought that crypt? Is that what would have happened? Oh, the oh, the card they they spent a turn tutoring for the card, and then they played the card. Ah, nah. <laughs> I'm such a dick. I'm just the biggest fucking asshole.
Oh, you better believe we're sitting. You better fucking believe it. I mentioned it's a complicated game. It's easy to miss stuff. Ooh. Certainly easiest to follow if you're in the driver's seat. You got your game plan on. I wonder what the opponent's plan is. If they trade with a hanger back there, then the Emery just rebuys hanger back. So that doesn't fucking work. Dang. This juncture. The game has ended. I win. I win the match. So we won both the games that we tickered for Smokestack. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's good enough. <laughs> been a while. It's been a hot minute since Tinker for Smokestack was my, my plan A. I'm gonna cut the braids for the uh, for the draw seven. So I liked how braids can answer my um, my mana crypt and stuff, but so can the echo, right? By shuffling the Tinker back into the deck. That'll probably happen. I can just see us having another long game where... Um, where Emery Mills stuff and we want to shuffle them. Yeah, you always want to invert smokestack, B Delm. You wanna keep um fucking um Tangle Wire stacked as is, and you always want to invert smokestack. Alright, Captain Red's got a song request. Captain wants Wants to keep the snark rolling. Yeah, we can do that, Captain. Thanks to the five bucks. This is Snarky Puppy Family Dinner Volume 2 Deluxe. There's a keeper, eh? And turn one saga is good, but I think I want to turn one recall instead. Both excellent turn one plays. Cool thing about turn one saga is we can't just activate it on two, hum. Could turn one him to Turok. I'll wait a turn, get at least one more card. That was the first uh, game of its kind, Zatara. I don't think it's that weird. You know, kind of intuitive, hum. So we could trigger Mage for Soul Ring and then threaten to get like their whole hand. I feel like man I feel like Twist for three is really good against a five-card hand, right? 
think waiting a turn here is greed. Whoa, workshop mirror? We're playing a workshop mirror? I've played Mama Green Chops before. I respect it. Ruffalo's is landing. Okay, we're gonna trigger mage for Ballista. Yeah, I still like that. Even we didn't have to. We didn't even have to tinker for smokestack, which was the plan, by the way. We were definitely going to do that, and that's what the mystical tutor was doing: was getting tinker and tinker for stack. That was what we were going to do, and it was going to be a miserable. Oh man, just delightfully terrible. You feel bad for the opponent? I do not. No, I feel very good. They have to experience the beauty that is this deck. How can they be how can they be upset? They should feel lucky, right? win a flip ever. I can! That's nice. So I want to lead on Golos. So I don't mill the, um... What I want to get with the Emery, right? Hey, thanks for the five bucks, Captain. This is just gonna grab Saga for us. Shell luck always tempting. Smokestack? Smokestack in the bin? Emery is in play? Fast match, maybe. <laughs> Spokes tag isn't exactly the fastest card necessarily. Let's go tails now. Oh man, back to back flip wins. Very tempted to uh, Jace bounce the tracker. We should be able to do that next turn too, right? Legacy Maverick. Well, they are also playing workshops, right? This is a shops mirror. Said the F word. Is the F word freedom? Freedom! Alright, here's another Captain Red request. Thanks the five bucks, Captain. Hmm. This is Quartermaster by Snarky Puppy. 
The F word is funky. Yeah, I like that. Stay the funk out of my face. Oh, you want to activate Golos? <laughs> Here's a saga. We could do that. I would need a swamp, right? I'm missing a swamp here. Soul Ring, you two get a Mox Pearl over a Soul Ring. Yeah, sorry, Golos fans. The game has ended! It's because I got the Sol Ring instead of the Mox. That was the, that was the whole thing there. how the Storm Deck do? Oh, the Storm Deck did. And what it's did is now done. Ooh. Hell yeah. Shop into Coalition Relic. Looking strong, huh? Looking real fucking strong. Uh, we've not dropped a match today. And that includes the storm bank from the other night. And I think there was another weird one. Maybe I'm just thinking of the um, the bombardment stem. Was the storm deck literally before the bombardment step? I think it was. I think it was. I think this is draft number three. Yeah, my tinker. <laughs> but it's so good. It's so good in this deck. The soul room is kind of a filthy draw. What a twist. Can't be dead in there. <laughs> it feels like whatever their hand was, those were a good four cards for us to hit. Dothy Voidwalker, Collective Brutality, Animate Dead. We not only whiffed on a giant creature to reanimate, but we also like got their way of bidding it. Actually, let's go Los, let's go Los Bitter Blossom rather than play Portal here. I think it just wins faster, huh? And this deck, as we all know, this deck is really about winning very quickly. Just like super fast tinkering to blight steel nonsense. That's all we're about. What's what's that? We don't have a blight steel. Oh. Well that's okay. What are what are we tinkering for? So, excuse me? A smokestack? Mm. Oh dear. With smokestack, our turns are short. I don't know, you gotta stack those triggers every turn. Just a soul ring. Not even a turn one coalition relic. Mm. I suppose I'll deign to keep it. 
with a mana crypt in workshops. Oh no. I was just thinking all the ways we could turn one a smokestack, right? Like a collective brutality to me. <laughs> Should we mind twist for one? <laughs> I was hoping to get the anime dead again. If it was in their hand, there's like 33% chance there, right? Ah, uh, they had to reanimate too. Solo. Hey, Dmails Leap, thanks for the resub, thanks for 62 months, appreciate you. <laughs> I know that group type might be coming in at some point. We sudden? What do y'all think? We don't have to soot. I think we're sudden. I want to meet that person's parent. I want to meet that person's parents too. <laughs> We're sacking swamps. We're in the swamp sacking business. Mmm, that's a bummer. Met opponent, well met. Cause I'm trying to do the block sack thing. I should have declared block first before untapping the foundry, I guess. So I didn't add a stuff out here specifically. But even then, my only live draw is worm coil then. And who knows? Who knows if it would have been the top card? I guess there's there's Tinker for Worm Coil too. Oh, they can turn one Inquisition as Dagon Crow. We're gonna be able to play this game. Yeah. 
on the play for game three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta share this one with Twitter. I gotta let the twits know. I'll go full screen for a sec. Just wanna take my screenshot. Can't show y'all how the mustard is canned. that stupid thinking face. Sarcastic like. Mm, where are you stupid thinking face? Hey, there we are. And that's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> They're on a Moldafor. That makes it that makes it much better for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good stuff. <clears throat> GG. <laughs> oh. I really shouldn't be that funny, but you know, that's all right. We all have different senses of humor, I suppose. <laughs> oh, fuck. I need to, I think I'm gonna go get a drink. I need to fucking, I don't even smoke. I need a cigarette after that. Oh, shit. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes, folks. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pour myself something. I'll be back in a sec, I gotta celebrate that one. <laughs> 